Resolution image size uh, is a great way to start with applying math to graphic arts. We pull images off the internet, off our digital cameras, we create them from scratch in graphic arts programs, and we never really know exactly how big it's going to be until we can understand what resolution is and how it will affect image size. Our objectives for today's lecture are to understand what resolution is and how it affects image size, which is also image quality, identify proper image resolutions for web-based and print-based images. It's really important to know how big it should be for different output devices. Um, one image that might look horrible when it's printed will look fantastic if it's on a display device like the internet or a Kindle or something like that. We'll calculate image sizes for print documents based on the number of pixels in an image. We'll also calculate image sizes for web documents once we determine what the resolution should be. And we will also determine how many megapixels are required to capture an image on a digital camera. One of the biggest things that bugs me when you go to buy a digital camera is they'll throw megapixels in your face out the wazoo. It has 8 megapixels, 16 megapixels, whatever it happens to be. We'll determine what that means to us and do we really need that 16 megapixel camera or would an 8 megapixel camera work for us? So let's start with resolution. What is resolution? Resolution is defined as the number of pixels per square inch and an image. It can be defined as PPI or DPI depending on what graphic arts program you are in. I think the easiest way to understand this is that if something is going to be printed, we can talk about it in terms of DPI. When something's on a monitor or it's always going to be on a display device, we can talk about it in terms of PPI. But even graphic arts programs can't agree which term to use. If you open up an image in Photoshop, the resolution will be in DPI. If you open up an image in Corel Painter, the resolution will be in PPI. 